we know why do they work. So let's review this paper. It is called Endometrial Injury and Hysteroscopy Increased Leukemia Inhibitory Factor Expression, a preliminary study in reproductive biology and endocrinology 2022. It's understanding the injury process. The leukemia inhibitory factor, LIF, is a cytokine that plays a crucial role in successful embryo implantation by regulating proliferation, differentiation, survival in the endometrium. It's also involved in em embryo endometrial interactions and injury and wound healing. So what happens when LIF expressions are low? So when you see LIF expression being low, there's insufficient LIF expression may lead to infertility. Disruptions in the LIF pathway are observed in patients with unexplained infertility, particularly in cases of endometriosis and endometrioma. So what happened in this study? And if you look at the methodology, the study aimed to investigate the impact of endometrial in injury on LIF gene expression in pregnancy rates and those undergoing IVF. So they took a biopsy of the endometrium. Two patient groups were included. One endo <coughs> underwent endometrial scratching and one did not. Hysteroscopy was performed in all participants and those with endometrial pathology detected during diagnosed hysteroscopy were excluded. The endometrial LIF mRNA expression was found to increase 11 times in the injury groups using monopolar cautery and 3.9 times in other causes. So when you look at the results analysis, the study revealed significantly higher positive pregnancy test in injury groups compared to the control group. The clinical pregnancy was observed in seven cases, 35% of the injury group and 5%, 25% in the control group with a significant difference. So what are the limitations? The primary limitations is using me mechanical endometrial injury to enhance pregnancy rates in the absence of clear data of which patient groups it may benefit, which instruments to use and how it should be applied. One thing you have to realize that although endometrial injury has been reported in some studies to increase pregnancy outcome, it has not consistently produced positive results in unselected group of patients. The exact physiological mechanism behind the method success remain unknown and the limited data on the mechanism of action through injury improving pregnancy rates has significant limitations. So what do we learn from this paper? The pre precise mechanism of injury enhancing pregnancy rates is not well understood and the sufficient data on endometrial injury are insufficient to recommend its continued use. How it may work probably is the leukemia inhibitory factor, LIF, may be how the endometrial scratch or injury works. That's in short about a paper that may give us a better insight.